So something we want to keep in mind when we're organizing our code base is that when we create a new C++ class, let's go with a actor for this sample, we can see that there's a public and a private. So public allows us to be able to access this from any other module within Unreal Engine, while private will keep it just to our project's runtime. So this is useful if you have multiple modules within your project. So what we mean by this is similar to how we organize code such that functions, we have private and public functions. Sometimes we want only public and private uh, classes as well. So in our case, let's create a private actor. You can see that when it's public, the header file is going to be in the public directory and the source file is always going to be in the private folder. So the CPP file will always be in the private folder, but depending on whether it's public or private, will determine the header files location. So we have a private actor here to create that class. Create a new class and we're gonna to go to actor again. This time we're gonna create a public actor. So once we have created those classes, we wanna stop and then rerun, and ensure that we've built the project. So you can see the private and public folders are here. Let's make sure that we rebuild our project. Refresh the project, whether you're using Visual Studio or Writer. You need to do that the first time that you've created a private or public folder within your project. Now we have private and public and all the files associated with it. So we can see that the public actor has its header file in the public folder and the private actor is within the private folder. So this allows us to use only the public actor into other different modules. Maybe you have a map editor or something like that within your project. Meanwhile, the private folder has our private actor, so that can only be accessed within our game itself.